Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. My name is Lauren. I am a mom of three. I have two little girls and a baby boy. And if you are new here, I'd love it if you would hit that subscribe button. I share a ton of daily life vlogs, all the motherhood and lifestyle things, so I'd love for you to be part of my YouTube family. But in today's video, I'm going to be sharing my newborn must-have. So I've done this three times, and each baby, I have like pretty much used the same things. There's been a few new things that I've used with Luca, who is my baby boy right now, um, just because it was like three years since I had a baby and a lot of things that come out every year. So this is what I have for 2022. I want it to be like super organized with it, but life is crazy with three kids. So I'm probably not going to have it like separated into categories, but when I do list it in the description box below, I will try to put it all like with like sleep and um, I don't know, like diaper bag stuff, like all that. I will have everything try to be more organized than this video is, but I do have a list and a list in my phone that I have been taking note of since I had the baby. So let's just get right into it. I know when I watch these videos, I just want to get right into the products. The first thing that I think is a must have is a diaper bag. This is the Luli BB diaper bag. I love this. I'm going to have a video probably already on my channel of like um, how to pack what to pack in your newborn diaper bag. But I love this diaper bag. I do have a discount code. So I'll leave that down below. Um, it has stroller straps, which is really nice. It's beautiful and it's just perfect um perfect size i have three kids that i have to stuff <laughs> stuff in here for so this works out really well and i just love this diaper bag um i have a lot of my newborn must-haves in my diaper bag so definitely check out that video too but i will be showing you guys things um throughout this video so one thing that i think is necessary for like on the go is a nursing cover or a stroller cover um this is the one i have i have quite a few of these i think i got this on etsy um, and I've had that since I had Lila. I I still I use these all the time with all three of my babies for breastfeeding in public or when you're out and about and you don't want your baby sleeping and you want to cover the baby up. This is perfect. I use this still with him. He's six months old now and I still use this all the time. It's always in my diaper bag. I have quite a few because I'll wash one and I need one on the go. So I love this. Another thing for on the go is a sound machine. I did not have this with Lila. I had like a different version and this is from Amazon and this is like the best quality one I've used. I have two of them. I have one for on the go and I have one for in the house because if I have them in the carrier, I will have this going and I'll like hook it to my carrier. I'm obsessed with this. So I use this every single day and it's like you just charge it. So major must have. Okay, just gonna kind of go. I have everything laid out here and everything on my list. So I another must have our baby blankets i have a ton of baby blankets that's one thing that i feel like especially in the newborn days you can't have enough of um with the amount of like spit up and just like blowouts and whatever i love having blankets so this is one that my aunt actually got for him it's a personalized one it says his name luca rome um this is in my diaper bag right now so that's why i'm showing it to you but i recommend getting a ton of like muslin blankets um i don't really like I didn't really swaddle him because he didn't really like it but just to have I feel like I always wrap my baby up he was born in January so I probably have more blankets than I did for like the, the girls because he was born in like colder month and honestly TJ Maxx and Marshalls had the best blankets that's where I got all of his besides his like very special big blanket that's actually in the in my room right now but it's from Sarani I think is how you say it I'll put a picture here it is the best quality blanket so if you want like a personal uh, if you want a blanket that you're probably going to keep forever, um, at least I'm going to keep that baby blanket forever. I brought it to the hospital with him and all that. It's a, that's a really good company, but I don't have it here to show you, so I will just insert a picture. So definitely baby blankets, muslin blankets, um, you need those and just stock up on them because you really will use them. I think it's a must-have that I didn't use with my girls is a diaper caddy. I actually have quite a few of these diaper caddies. This, these are just from Amazon. They're super cheap. Um, I had one. I have one in his room on his diaper changing table. I have one in my room and then I had one in the living room and I just kind of carried these around. This is how I organized like in my room, like his diapers, his wipes, his, just everything. Like his grape water, everything that I need is in here. And then I also put one in the living room for like diaper changes around the house. And I just feel like this is super handy and I'm still using it six months later. So it's definitely worth it. And in here, um, I have a like washable changing pad. I love this thing. I have, it came in a pack of three, I believe. So I used to have one in my diaper bag, but now I just have one in each of my diaper caddies and you can just wash it, throw it in the wash. So nice. Um, I also have Aquaphor. I think 
Aquaphor is a baby must-have, newborn must-have. This is pretty much what I use for diaper rashes. Luca hasn't gotten like that bad of diaper rash, but the girls did, and I always used Aquaphor. It's a nice barrier cream. So I love Aquaphor. And also, obviously, you need like diapers and wipes. When I have newborns, I use mostly Pampers and Pamper wipes. But then, as I get older, I try to experiment with different diapers. And right now, we are loving the Kirkland brand. I don't think I've used Kirkland as their newborns, but um, I kind of just go with like whatever the hospital gave us. And the hospital started him on Pampers, so that's kind of what I did until he started having a lot of blows as he got older. And now we're using Kirkland. Um, I'm just gonna go in here and see what I have. This I think is a newborn must have. So it's this little like hedgehog guy and um, he plays music and he vibrates and little Luca, he so loves this, but he loved it when he was a newborn. So I would just put it next to him. He just liked the, the vibration and the music. Um, I found this at Target, it's by Fisher Price. I think it was like $14 or something and he's so cute. We love him. Gripe water is a must have. Um, I've used, I have used grape water with all three of my babies. It is a definite must have. It helps when they're colicky, when they have the hiccups. Um, I feel like Luca had the hiccups so much as a newborn. This takes it away, it's like magic. Highly recommend, I have this in my digger bag. I have two around the house. I just always had it on hand. Another must have is um, pacifiers. So my babies actually never really love pacifiers, but I do grab a couple when I'm pregnant and when they're first babies just to kind of try them out. And the one that Luca really likes is the Itsy Ritzy. He didn't really like like the hospital one um, by Advent, I think there are. I did grab those, but he didn't really like them. He does love the Itsy Ritzy, so I just recommend like trying them out. I wouldn't buy a ton because like I said, Luca and my kids, because like I said, my girls never like them, but I always did try to have them. And this is by Itsy Ritzy as well. It's a, He loves this little pacifier clip guy. He loves this little thing. He just like will put it on his face while he has his passy and he loves it. So I do recommend getting like something like a Wubba Nub. This is like the ritzy ritzy version of a Wubba Nub. But yes, pacifier is a must have. Um, even if your babies like don't like it, there are different ones to try. But this is the only one that he has taken and I have tried quite a few. He loves the itsy ritzy one. So I definitely think this is one worth trying. I don't know if they had them when Lila was a baby, but this is my first time trying the Itsy Ritzy and he loves it. Another thing that I will recommend is the Ubi Diaper Pail. I'm not going to show it to you guys right now because it's too big for me to grab, but I'll insert a picture here. I use the Diaper Genie with the girls and with Luca I got the Ubi Diaper Pail and I just think that one is so much easier. You can use regular garbage bags, which I think is really nice and we have loved it. Going along with um, this big old thing with diaper changes is this is a changing pad that i have and you can remove this or take this um part off but he does like like the mobile he does like this so i have kept it on this is by skip hop um i know there are different like ones out there but that one was more affordable so i got this one it wipes so clean having a boy they definitely are like a little messier than girls when you're changing their diapers People told me to get one that would just wipe down clean and I highly recommend it. I love my Bobby. Um, I use this while I'm trying to figure out breastfeeding. I And I just feel like everyone needs a Bobby or like a breastfeeding pillow. So especially when you're a new mom, like learning how to do it. It's nice sometimes to even just like have to like rest him on. Um, so I do love the Bobby. Okay, so you need washcloths. I just got these washcloths from Target. Going along with that is I use the Tubby Todd baby i use their whole line um the bath the bath soap his um bath soap and stuff is in my bathroom but i do use also the all over tubby todd ointment this stuff is amazing he was my first baby to get cradle cap and this took it away like just took it away so this stuff is awesome i also and then I also use this little baby brush. I think I just got this from Target. Um, I know there's like um, Frida Baby 1, 2 that people rave about. So um, I never really had to use this with the girls, but since he got cradle cap, I am gonna recommend it just in case, just in case they have it on hand. But the Tubby Todd lotion and body wash and ointment are the best that I've ever used. I, a couple things that I'm not, I don't have with me because they're in the other room are the Snuggle Me Organic. So I love the Snuggle Me. I know there's a Docatot too. We had a Docatot with the girls. And I don't know, I don't really think like it was anything that I was like a real, real must have, I guess, not having to snuggle me. He used, he would lounge on it all the time. I would just put it next to me, like if I was sitting on the couch and I put him in there and he would just sleep. And he really only liked to sleep on me. So the fact that he would actually sleep in the snuggle me, like right next to me was amazing. 
it's a little more affordable than the Dr. Tattoo, which was like more appealing to me. So I'm glad I got it this time. And it was just nice to have. We brought it with us when we went to Florida. Like I said, it's affordable. In my opinion, it's way more affordable than the Dakota. I think I ended up getting on a Black Friday sale and I think I got it for like 60 bucks. So I felt like that was such a good deal. So another must have is a baby swing. I have the Fisher Price swing. I've used that one with all three of my babies. It is a little bit bigger, but it works. And with my first, I got the Mamaru and my baby just did not like it at all. So I never really got that one again. And we got the Stungle snuggle puppy or snuggle something by fisher price i will link it and have a picture right here and all of my babies have just loved it we still have it out and he's six months old and he still likes to go in it another must have is a bouncer i have the fisher price bouncer i'll put a picture here he loves this and i've used this with two out of three of my babies it's like a rocker bouncer and i feel like and this one grows with them so he still can go in it now he's not too big in it and he loves it and i use it off every single day like multiple times a day i put it in the bathroom with me when i shower go to the bathroom and he just hangs out in there definite must have somewhere to like push your baby that is a perfect place and it's not like heavy or anything so you can move around the house it is a little bit bigger um but like i said it grows with them so i love it and it's the same one that i've used with lila so it lasted me two babies and i definitely think it's worth it Baby carriers are a must have. I love baby carriers. This one I got with Luca. This is a Baby Bjorn, I hope I'm saying it right, mini. I love this. I use this every single day, multiple times a day. He loved this. Every time I put it on, he would just fall asleep immediately. I did use a Solly Baby Wrap when he was like a few weeks old, so I will insert that here. That's put away now because I don't use it anymore. Um, I did use it for the first couple weeks and then I moved on to this because I felt it was just a little bit more supportive and he seemed to like this a lot more. Once he grew out of this, which he grew out of this, I don't know, maybe like three or four months because he's just a big boy, I switched to a different carrier by this brand. So I love this. It was super affordable. I think it was under $100. It comes in a ton of prints. I like this print, of course, but um, I got my sister to get one. I recommend... And I talked about it. If you watch my videos, you'll see it because I use this all the time. And also, like I said, the Sally Baby Wrap was awesome. And I have the same one that I have since I had Ella. It's seven years old. It does a job, especially when they're teeny tiny. He loved it. The girls loved it. But then as he got a little bit older, I felt like this was a little bit better. Um, so I definitely recommend getting a wrap and some sort of carrier. Okay, another thing. So for clothing, I obviously recommend um, sleepers. And these are the sleepers. I love the Kite Baby ones. These are a bit of a splurge though. So I only have a couple of them. But I wanted, this was his like take home out from the hospital. And then um, I love the Cloud Island ones from Target. You get like three in a pack for 12 bucks. Can't beat it. Another thing that I highly recommend are sleeping gowns. Um, these he lived in for the first few weeks of his life. They're so easy for diaper changes. I have so many of them. These are from Target. And then this one I brought with him to the hospital is a knotted one. So cute. I have this little picture, like his little announcement picture, I think, is in this. So this one knotted. This is from Spirit Baby. You can find these anywhere though, and I highly recommend them because they're just so easy for like middle of the night changes. I would have him in a gown and wrap him in a swaddle. This is a swaddle I recommend. It's just the Halo one. I love this one. This is the one I've used with all of my kids. There are so many out there, so definitely like look into different ones but this is the one that i recommend um he loved it another one that i have with the girls that i didn't use as much with him but he's but i still recommend this because lila was my worst sleeper and she loved this and it's a nested bean one um it's like a little bit weighted right here so it makes them feel like mom is still holding them and she loved this one so each baby you know likes different things but they all love the halo and I just I really liked it because you can swaddle their arms in or you can swaddle them with their arms out and it has pictures so it shows you how to do it too which is really nice um, you need burp cloths I have the Cloud Island one from Target they're super thick I really like these ones and then also just like your basic white ones Luca was the king of spinning up so these came in super handy what else the haka ladybug and also the regular haka um you need these for breastfeeding if you're going to breastfeed i will do a breastfeeding must have video though but definitely recommend these i stocked up on newborn hats i feel like you really need newborn hats another must have that i didn't have with my girls is an electric nail file 
where <laughs> I cut Lila once and I will never use clippers again and this is just awesome it doesn't hurt him and he sits still for me and yeah highly recommend that one nose frida obviously people always talk about that that one i use all the time this is a nose frida electric one i also have the one that you have to like manually do i will put a picture here it's really not that gross um at all so i know sometimes people are grossed out by it but it's really not that gross i recommend both of them a thermometer is a must-have um i have this is the one by Frida Baby. I love all their products. Here, another thing for like boogers is the Ubi Bear. I'll put a picture here. It just helps you like pick their little boogers. Their nostrils are so small and like sometimes the nose Frida wouldn't get like the boogers. So I would use that to get them kick. Luca got sick and he just like constantly had like a lot of like boogers and stuff. So I use that a lot. I didn't even know something like that existed. And one day I was like scrolling on Target at baby, um, to their baby items and I saw that. So I got that. A baby bathtub must is a must have. This is a, the Angel Care one from Target. It was like $19 and we love this. We've used it for two out of three babies. I know everybody talks about the hatch. Um, I just didn't want to spend the money on the hatch. Maybe I will as he gets older, but this is like a hatch dupe and it plays all different kinds of sounds and music. It turns the colors, the lights and everything. And I got this on Amazon for like 15, maybe 20 bucks. So I recommend a sound machine if you want to go for the hatch. We do have one for the girls and I love it, but I just didn't feel like spending the money on it again. You also need like somewhere for the baby to sleep. I actually post ladies, but I still use a bassinet. I will link the one I have. It is a co-sleeper bassinet. I love this one. I have tried a, quite a few bassinets and this is one. This has been my favorite one. I love that you can unzip it and it's like basically the baby sleeping in the bed with you. So easy to get the baby in the middle of the night and Feed the baby, change baby's diaper. I love this bassinet and I highly recommend this one. And I also don't think it's like too bad of a price. Um, going in my phone to grab the last few things. You need a car seat and a stroller. I use up a baby. I've used it for seven years for all three of my kids and I love it. I love that the car seat just snaps into the up a baby stroller. It is a little pricey, but I've used it for seven years. So it's definitely worth it. And if you plan on having more than one kid, I would go and get the like the Vista, the double seat version. Um, like I said, it is, it is pricey, but I've used it and it's gotten its worth out of it for sure. And then these are two random things, but a wet bag. I use this for my diaper bag, but I just wanted to mention it because your baby will have a lot of blowouts. The last thing that I'll recommend is this night light. I'll put a picture right here. I use this so much throughout the night. It's awesome because you can just tap it on and tap it off. You can dim it, make it brighter. And again, it was super affordable. I like finding affordable things, but I use this all the time um, along with like the sound machine. This sometimes is just easier for like middle of the night if I didn't have the sound machine on because we do use a fan. We're like fan people. We love having a family sleep. Um, so I used it all the time and I kind of had it on like the lowest setting all night long just so I could have eyes on Luca and everything. So definitely recommend that. But that's it for my newborn must-haves. I'm sorry if it was all over the place, but I tried. I'm <laughs> busy mom over here. But I hope you guys like this video. I hope it was helpful. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. I'll have everything linked down below. And if I did forget to mention anything, I'll make sure to include it in the description box. So definitely check out the description box. I see it in your eyes Yeah, I can read the signs